What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. <laughs> I'm good. Are you good? I'm I'm okay. Are you good? Yeah, I'm I'm doing well, man. How you doing? <laughs> I'm all right, dude. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. What's good with you? Nothing. Just looking at the application screen share window on Discord. Oh, cool. Yeah. Mostly. Wait. First of all, I just want to give a big everyone a big uh, welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> I'm your host, Cody, joined by my host. <laughs> Noel. Noel. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. All right, I'll probably turn auto tune off now. Probably. Or yeah. maybe I'll just keep it on. No, no, please no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm always... fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> we always joked about doing a full auto tune <laughs> podcast, and now it's going to happen. <laughs> be so funny <laughs> dude okay i'm I'll turn fucking it gay <laughs> i don't hear you with autotune do you do you hear yourself yeah i do or hear you myself just... with autotune um okay first of all so first thing for first thing i just want to wish everyone uh i hope everyone had a fantastic christmas yeah and Big um, merry christmas to you. i also want to wish everyone a happy new year as well mm. Um, cause that's, that's coming nice. up in a few days. Uh, if you want to spend the new year's Eve with us, then you can join us yeah. in DC where we'll be doing a show and, uh, we're very excited for it. So if you're in the DMV area, come join us for that show. Tinybeatour.com. Hang yeah, with the pull, boys. I'd say I'd recommend just pulling the F up yeah. to be honest. I would definitely say pull up. You definitely want to pull up like a Huggies diaper. Pull up. Pull up. Yep. Um, and then I think first of all we should just get right into this Troy Becker stuff. <laughs> oh wait, by the way, uh Suki this weekend. Yeah, Troy Becker, let's go. <laughs> wait, this weekend? Yeah. What day? I don't know. I'm gonna keep it a little bit of a mystery. Saturday, <laughs> Sunday? It could be either. Do you just not do you just not know which day? No, I know which day. You I know kinda, which day. You're just kinda I you're kinda just gonna to, You're just gonna drop it on them. Yeah, I just want it to pop up and you go. <gasps> It's here. That's what I want. Okay. That's what I'm into. Well, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. All right. Troy Becker. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Troy Becker. Okay. So if you don't know who this kid is, I don't really know. No. Sorry. Yeah. Paul Zimmer. Okay. This is the original kid. Paul Zimmer. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me, let me navigate back here. Go to this kid's Instagram. Paul mm-hmm. Zimmer. Okay. I guess he was a, a musically guy. I don't really know for sure. I know... Danny, I think, has done a couple videos on this guy. I think he was just kind of one of these musically dudes that just was like a little bit off, you know? Yeah. Just like something weird about him. Um. Yeah. Anyway, well, yeah, so it looks like this guy Paul. That's what's weird about him. <laughs> that's what's super weird, dude. No, Paul Zimmer <laughs> is the guy. That's got the it. original guy. Okay. He's so he's got eight hundred and forty-eight thousand followers on Instagram. So I'm I'm guessing like he was pretty big on TikTok. Right. I maybe just looking like a pretty boy, I guess. Um okay, so I guess now what he's done. This is what I've picked up, okay? Since musically died, I guess now he's trying to rebrand himself as an actor, but I'm guessing came to the conclusion that his musically past and stuff would be kind of a burden uh you know, on his new path in Hollywood. And so what he's doing now is he he basically like cloned himself. <laughs> he's now going as Troy. He's Troy claiming Becker. there's a kid named Troy Becker who's an actor and who's 14 or something. <laughs> and basically Paul has claimed that this Troy kid looks exactly like him. <laughs> now keep in mind they're the same person. <laughs> Wait, Paul I is saying it. it's weird this kid Troy looks exactly like me he's like a younger sexier version of me I'm reading this this is the, the caption <laughs> I don't even use social media anymore but had to post this ha 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 okay oh, and tags me... tags Troy Becker IG I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick 
uh, while you're explaining here, I'm going to just switch over to the window in my fucking... Actually, no. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Nate, you're, no, Nate's going to have to do some magic here. He's going to do some magic here. It's all right. Oh, okay. It's all right. It's all right. Go ahead. Continue. Okay, and then the next post is is another post from Paul promoting Troy Becker. <laughs> and what, why don't you bring up that video, the next post? Can you do Actually, that? Here, here, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Talk for a second about um, how cool Suki's going to be while I set up this 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 scene for us so we can do this. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> I just hit the fucking Victory Royale screen Bra- again. <laughs> <laughs> that one goes out to Paul Zimmer, dude. Because <laughs> this is the fucking ultimate Victory Royale right here. Yeah. All right. Um, I got to talk Nate through this bit. All right, Nate. So you're going to have to um, put Cody and I in this little box. These are notes for the editor, guys. You, you, th- <laughs> this is what this is what you get with the TMG podcast. You get to be part of the production process as well as the listening part. It's that much fun. Okay, hold on. But also, you, re- you know, we're trying to do, we're trying to basically do a reaction, a reaction video across the <laughs> fucking country <laughs> in two separate parts of the country. I guess no, it's not fine. Across the country, it's fine. But- All right, and boom, I got him on scream. Scream? Screen. I can't talk. All right, we got everything. Okay, yeah, we're good? Courtesy of me, the streamer. Um, okay, yes. go hit that second post. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is, this is the post, everybody. This is the post with <laughs> Paul and Troy. So just so I have this right, Paul is the real one. Troy is the clone. I have to say two things. First of all, he's the kid boo of Musical.ly stars. <laughs> all right, he's cloned himself. He took one out. This guy... How old? Is, first of all, I just want to see how old he actually is, Paul Zimmer. He he is Kid Boo down to lying about the age part. The other thing exactly. Is, the other thing is, I feel like he took a page out of like um, Venezuelan baseball players, like when they when they come to America and they're like, "Yeah, I'm only 18," and they're like 30, and they're like <laughs> just cracking fucking crazy. <laughs> crazy home run numbers and you're like are you you're, you said you're 18 He's like yeah I'm 18 I'm 18 man you got to respect that man age is just a number they're just trying to get a fresh start you know dude he's Paul Zimmer is 24 and this Troy Becker kid is supposed to be 14 dog this he's is he's fully done puberty dude like twice by now <laughs> And you're going to try and revert back to a 14-year-old? This is, I mean, we'll just get into the Troy Becker Instagram after, but hit that second post. Uh, you mean the you mean the video? Or this yeah, one? the video. You can see my screen share, right? You yeah. still looking at it? Yeah. No, not right. that one. I mean on Paul Zimmer's Instagram. Oh, copy, copy. All right, so. Yeah, we're still like. This, this is fucked, man. It's fucked up, dude. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay that second Paul post Zimmer. right there. No, no, no. I meant the second from the first one. Yeah. Oh, boy. Here we go. I'm telling you. So this you. is his second post promoting this new identity he has. Dude, well, first up, what, what the fuck is with his hair? What? <laughs> is that a wig? Is that a wig? <laughs> like, why is that? Why is the hairline? I'm, why I is the know. hairline like, like down here? Glued it down to his his head. Maybe he's fucking like fifty and he's actually bald. <laughs> <laughs> he really has no idea what TikTok is. He's a sixty year old man. He's fucking. Born- <laughs> What fourteen year old doesn't know what TikTok is? I know that's the what fucking, kid right now is like. I don't know something called TikTok. Amish Amish kids. No, they probably even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay, God, so dude. it gets fucking weirder, man. So, so, so then go to the third post. Hey, it's Paul Zimmer. This is probably gonna. Sp- this is probably going to be my last social post ever. I must say that I am very grateful for social media and I have had such a fun time using all these different social platforms and having the opportunity to entertain millions of people for many years. 
With this being said, I have come to a place in my life where being in the spotlight and being an entertainer is no longer my passion, although it deeply saddens me to leave so bluntly, especially that so many of you have watched me for so many years. Dude, how long was this kid I'm fucking musically for? <laughs> Dude, he's he, this is like... Musically was around for like eight months. Dude, this shit is like Academy Award level, man. He, he, he talks like he's Morgan Freeman. I know. I didn't want to leave my social media pages just sitting to die, dot, dot, dot. So, I have decided to give my social media accounts to Troy Becker IG because he is one of the dopest people I know and he is literally my younger twin. My much younger twin, I believe Troy is 15 or 16 years old. Ha, 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 crying emoji. <laughs> I know that Troy Becker IG is busy filming his TV show and a movie, but I hope he spends some time on here to bring joy to y'all. Thank you all so much for supporting me. I am sending all of my love to each and every one of you. Hold on, each, and, gotta, each and every one of you. Everyone gotta, is one word give there. It. Because I'm in the stream chair, I just got to give it a quick look to camera. Hold on. Do it. Hit him with Hit him with it. Did you do it? Did you yeah. do it? Okay, good. No, I'm genuine. This is this is fucking. This is bizarre, man. All right, so now next post, okay? Wait, still still on Paul Zimmer. Next post. Still on Paul Zimmer. Next post. This is this is fucked up, dude. What kind of weird? <laughs> Hey, hey, it's hey, Troy who, Becker. It who, feels weird. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, no, no, no. Who, who was that YouTuber that everyone thought was kidnapped Marina Joyce? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marina Joyce, yeah. Yeah, him and Marina Joyce are <laughs> part of some larger conspiracy where they got, like, lobotomized and, you know. Yo, not that I – bruh's pants are super tight, bro. Yeah, I know. What, what, <laughs> yeah, there's just too much fucking detail there. <laughs> oh shit hey it's troy Be oh now it's troy now it's the 15 year old yeah yeah you read this so, one so you're looking at child porn that's what you're looking at right now. i know yeah exactly hey it's troy becker it feels weird posting this on here haha <laughs> <laughs> sweating emoji <laughs> that's how i read those emojis <laughs> as you all know from paul zimmer's last post he no longer uses social media and decided to give me <laughs> social media accounts because we've become <laughs> great friends and we look quite similar i must admit i can't believe this shit <laughs> my instagram is troy becker ig paul's asked me to also post on here and to spread love and joy i am honored to have this opportunity to reach so many amazing people want to thank you i have so many big things coming my tv and a movie show <laughs> i am working on but i will make time to spread love all over social media for you <laughs> Bro, he's going to be a cult leader. Like, give him a couple years, bro. It's Dude, on. this is so scary. Oh, this Legitimately, is this is wild. What if this is a big joke? It's like, what if it's a bit? Hairline again, dude. What is going on here? <laughs> that's the, wait, wait. That's, next, the next most. The, hey, it's Troy Becker IG wishing y'all a Merry Christmas. And then in parenthesis, still feels so weird posting on this account. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I just want to still make it clear that it's this is weird it's that I'm doing this, but account. it's <laughs> absolutely it's not my account. And I'm Troy Becker, and I'm not Paul Zimmer at all. And it's and this is Troy Becker here. I'm 15, Look, and I'm an all, actor. All I'm gonna say is this, dude. Okay, hairline here, very normal. Hairline here. Oh, he's combing it across the front. That's yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. All right. He's he's stapling his bangs to his forehead. All right. Yeah. So now. Let's go to the Troy Becker IG. Yep. Love this action shot right here. Oh, he loves sports. Did you know that? Wait, wait, wait. Go to the very first the very first post. His first one ever. And read that caption. Blessed to be filming my TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. The best part about all of this Troy Becker shit is that he keeps going on about his TV show and his movie that he's filming, right? And then he'll post clips of him of like from the TV show or the movie or whatever, and he'll say, this scene with crying emojis, like, this scene killed me. And it's just someone filming him and some other random person with a DSLR. <laughs> There's not even mics or anything. The audio is so <laughs> shitty. <laughs> and he's trying to pass it off like it's a real fucking TV show. <laughs> Dude, all right. You know, you know what creeps me out about this? And this is just... This is actually great timing. So, hold up. I'm going to switch screens here for a second. 
Um, so everyone's been talking about this shit on Netflix. Fucking uh, don't fuck with cats. God damn it. Yeah, I yeah. My, I just fucked the screen up. Hold on. Um, What's the deal yeah. with that show? All right. So it's a it's a documentary. And if you're from Canada, I think the story isn't that interesting because you've probably you're very familiar with it. But it's about this kid, and I'm blanking on his name. Hold on. Uh, it's about uh, Luca. What is his stupid, shitty name? He's a piece of shit, and I have no fucking Luca Magnata. Okay, here's what's creepy about this Troy Becker thing. <clears throat> so this kid, Luca Magnata, he basically murdered cats like kittens, <laughs> and and he like he made two videos. And these people on Facebook, and I'm I'm super super <coughs> abbreviating this whole story. You should watch the documentary. It's fucked up, dude. But basically, these uh, just regular people um, on Facebook look at this and go, "This is fucked up," and they take it upon themselves to try to figure out who he is. So they create like a little group, and and they kind of oh yeah, they kind of get in touch with like some like popular uh, like TV. A show like it's about these like guys in New York that fucking go bully people out of animal abuse. Like, hey, what the fuck you doing to the fucking dog? Give us the okay. fucking dog. And so it's getting all this attention. And then they randomly get a message from like a burner account that says, hey, the person you're looking for is Luca Magnata. And they look up this kid, Luca, and he's got all these weird audition tapes on YouTube and all these goofy photoshopped pictures of his face on like people doing like rich people shit and they're they they're kind of following him along as as he 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 posts a couple videos of him murdering cats and then they're like dude he's gonna move on to a person and lo and behold he moved on to a person and he fucking uploaded the video of him killing that person (laughs) and what so what creeps me out about the whole thing is that this kid with this, like, I'm not saying Paul Zimmer is going to fucking murder somebody, but it creeps me out that he's got this weird, elaborate scheme to get attention. It's, like, kind of on the same level as this kid, Luca, in that, like, it's 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 a very weird way of putting attention on yourself. Damn, yeah, yeah, damn. And, and by the way, that that the murder itself is not even, like, not even the the full, like, gambit of of that story it is fucking it is wild what that kid did and and the type like this like oh man you you have to see it if none of you have seen it watch it i was reading that it was getting um i was reading that it was getting some heat because people are like this is exactly what he would have wanted he would have wanted everyone on netflix watching a documentary about him yeah yeah and but and and to that point the girl, the lady who kind of jumped <clears throat> on the whole thing. At the end, she is like sort of really broken up, and and I think she's like crying. She's like, "I feel guilt because I feel like I gave him what he wanted, and I'm a catalyst for the murder of this innocent person, and I feel responsible." Fuck. Oh, because he murdered the person w- be- be- when he already know pe- he already knew that people were like, kind of looking into him. Yeah, and like paying attention to his moves and and trying to figure him out you know she she damn that's dark as fuck and so she looks to camera and she goes are are we complicit or like yeah are we uh complicit are we complicit you watching this documentary are you complicit and am i telling you about it are we complicit do we keep talking about this or do we just turn it off and then that's where the documentary ends (laughs) oh okay so they address that they do, yeah. They definitely do. Oh, I and see. It, huh? I mean, I mean, like I've. I've is he in that, jail now? Yeah, but he's a piece of shit, man. Like he's like he's so he's all smiles about it. He like Ugh. has qu- quotes about being like, oh yeah, it's like a big summer camp. It's like going to college. Oh fuck that dude. Yeah, I like I I I hope he dies. <laughs> <laughs> man, I uh, that's that's fucked up, and I don't wish death on anyone. <clears throat> I'm not even wishing it on him per se, but 
He just, I think he deserves a lot worse than he got because mm-hmm. he just doesn't seem to give a shit. But, so you're you know, saying Paul Zimmer could potentially be the next? I mean, I, I, I don't, cereal. I don't know. This is this is just weird. This is weird. That no, he, it's fucking. It's weird to do it in, just out in the open like this, and act like it's not 100 percent obvious what he's doing. He can't yeah. possibly think anyone is actually falling for this shit, can he? I mean that that's what I don't get is is why this like is it a bit? Is it? It doesn't seem like a bit. Like the look in his eyes is mega hollow. Like, dude, just, open up, dude, pull up that <laughs> uh, uh, that Joker picture on his. I'm looking at that shit right now. <laughs> nope, <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Uh, I loved I loved some of the comments after we reviewed that. Someone said, "Joker, the Joker was the most overacted, overrated piece of shit." Film. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <coughs> Open up that. So let's look at his like monologue real quick, and then we'll oh, stop this, talking about this, Troy Beck because uh, yeah, he's just a 15 year old trying to make it in Hollywood. You know, yeah, who, he is just who a, are yeah. we to like pick on him like we are? Yeah, who are we to roast a fifteen-year-old trying to exactly, make exactly, dude? A fifteen-year-old Venezuelan baseball player. <laughs> Whoa, this audio is fucked. That's what I mean, <laughs> dude. You think you'd get a fucking lav mic at least if you're trying to play this off <laughs> like it's a real movie? <laughs> <laughs> Just <Hey>, traffic. <laughs> also. This lens is soft as fuck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't <laughs> get a sharper lens, homie. This is just filmed iPhone portrait mode. Becky, damn, his, uh, he his nailed eyes? it. He nailed the. Uh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no. He nailed the what? Nailed the what? Well, he nailed the you know teen drama. You know, this is what they care about: hanging out and <laughs> being on their phones. And you know, when those two worlds collide, sometimes it can lead to a little bit of tension. And as you know, as Paul has, or sorry, Troy has found out here, Becky um, might be more interested in in her phone than she is their connection I, and that's I love, the thing <laughs> i love the matte bars on a 16-9 shot yeah. just completely <laughs> cropping out the top of his head and framing out his hand this feels very tv as far as i'm concerned <laughs> exactly i mean that was definitely a stylistic choice by the dp for sure <laughs> sorry his short film <laughs> uh, damn. damn all damn. right all right let's 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 let this ride out Man, I can't wait till I run into him in a, in an audition room. <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, oh, Troy, Troy, what's up, dude?" <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, uh, because I'm 15, this role is gonna be hard for the production because I can only be on set for about four hours, so <laughs> technically a minor." <laughs> oh, fuck, my light died. Damn it. Becky, you can talk to him. You know that, right? Those fucking empty, hollow eyeballs. You can talk into that fucking... (laughs) It's wild. Bro, he looks dead inside. What the (laughs) fuck? Like, Like, this picture, there looks like zero happiness in his fucking... Well, he's trying to play off this. He's trying to... Uh, produces like boyish innocent look i think right this is this dude read the caption for that picture too i love seeing people smile it always makes me smile too dude that's not a smile at all (laughs) (laughs) you're fucking (laughs) stone-faced that's a deadpan Maybe there's a little maybe the corners are turned up a little bit. That's a Joker smile right there. <laughs> no, the Joker smile is <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
by the way, I'm sorry for everyone watching on YouTube. My light just died, unfortunately, so it's going to be a little so. bit dark <laughs> for the last half of the podcast. <laughs> you're just going to fu- you're just going to fucking Luca Magnata the rest of this shit. Oh, let's not do that. Let's not make him a term. Yeah. Yeah, Paul Zimmer, man. That's what he wants. Yeah. This is Yeah, this, this is, Ziminator. This is <laughs> fucking Ziminator. This is so strange, man. Yeah. Why do this with the dog face? <laughs> That's what I don't get. <laughs> like this is such a serious post. This guy's a com- this guy's a comedian, man. This shit is. Uh, it's got to be a bit, dude. It's got to be a bit. This is gonna get him into SNL. Yeah, this is you know so this is good, his man. like digital audition, pretty much. This he created so this good. whole fake persona. It's man. wild, absolutely wild. Wow. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> I just can't stop looking. I love this scene. (laughs) I gotta let this one play. (laughs) Stop it. Stop it. Is it done? No more. Is it done? (laughs) Dang, bro. Yeah. This is, I hope he's all right, man. I really hope he's okay. It's, yeah, it's, I feel like his brain it is a little off. bit. It's a little bit worrisome. It kind of seems like something. Like you know, wait, can you hear that? The TV in the background. No. Okay, it's fine. It kind of seems like something really drastic that you do when you're kind of in a bad place. You know, like he clearly yeah. was like not things weren't going well for him in Hollywood or something. So he feel he felt like he had to make this big of a shift. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing just—it feels fucked up. Yeah, it's so strange, dude. Yeah. Um. Anyways, what? Uh. What's this? You found the U House on Zillow. What's the U House, this? man. Um, Did someone send you sent this? Me this? Yeah, somebody sent me this. This is crazy. That's actually it, isn't it? I don't. I don't want to dox the um, the address. Hold on. Hold on now. All right. I'm switching back over. So this is apparently the house from the U video. The U, that's cringe. Do you know by the L-O-V-E thing in the back? I mean, the whole thing, I, I don't know. I don't know. The person who sent it to me swears this is the house. That L-O-V thing I mean, is pretty distinct, right? Yeah, it is. And that little garden is like pretty fucking similar. Is this not the <laughs> it's not the golden light kitchen? I can't tell. <laughs> Hold on. I'm checking it out. Wait. I think it might be, dude. I think this is it. Who found this shit? How did they find this? Um, I don't know. Damn, this is wild. It's a million bucks. 1.1 million. It's it's into Topanga Canyon. We can say that. I'm in Topanga. Yeah, this looks like it. Holy dog shit. So they were renting a 1.1 million dollar house? 1,900 square feet in fucking Topanga. (laughs) Oh, yeah. They got a studio as well. Look at that. Popping, bro. Damn, dude. That's crazy. They're fucking killing it, clearly. Damn, there's a studio in there, too? Should we buy this place? Yeah, let's buy it, man. Let's put all our Look at this. It's already got a podcast studio built into it. (laughs) We put all our chips on this one. (laughs) Just go bankrupt (laughs) for this fucking house. (laughs) As the ultimate get back. (laughs) <laughs> the ultimate bit, dude, that just comes full circle, and we move into the fucking U house. That's our, gonna... that's our, dude, that's our Troy Becker move right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we just go fucking insane. We're just, just our last, our, our <laughs> we vlog ourselves just drinking so much rosé, and just, uh... and just in in straight jackets. Hey guys, just rocking back and the, forth on the ground. I know this is the Tiny Meat Gang podcast, but actually, we found our younger ten-year-old brothers who want to run the podcast now. <laughs> they're they're actually ten years old, <laughs> and they love celery, dude. And it's not just it's not just going fair enough, fair enough, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I'm dying laughing at the idea of lying about your age on set, being like 
fucking so clearly a 35 year old man <laughs> and then demanding like your teacher has to come to set and you have to leave after six hours and you haven't had your mandatory three hour break and shit <laughs> i mean it's definitely illegal right yeah like let's say he yeah. actually got a gig he's gonna have to like say his real age yeah no i mean they, that's what i mean is if you're a, like a minor you have to bring a teacher to set like you can't <laughs> you can't just be out of school just <laughs> making your movie you know what i'm saying but He's imagine like, that hi mrs wilson yeah <laughs> thanks for coming to set today i'll get back to my geometry homework later this is my teacher you guys she's such a stickler <laughs> It's just his boy who's like also <laughs> twenty four. <laughs> just pretending. Yeah, they're like, You're Mrs. Wilson? That's me. He's like, Yep. Mrs. Wilson, I'm a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> He's just wearing Yeezys and a fucking off white T shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mrs. Wilson, dude. I'm here to teach Paul. I mean, uh Troy. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck, my bad, dude. <laughs> Shit, Dude, later <laughs> when you're wrapped on when you're wrapped, I'm gonna teach you Pythagorism's theorem. You know what I mean? You dude? better get ready. You know what I mean? Miss Wilson's coming through <laughs> <laughs> with the math pack. With that math pack. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, it's like a math packet, dude. I'm pulling up. <laughs> oh my! God. You know, there's a there's a bigger picture to all this. Um, you know, and big pictures are part of business, you know, one, and, 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 so, and people, <laughs> uh, one sec, sorry, hold on. <laughs> sorry. My video died. I had to restart it. There you go. Oh, really? Sorry. Keep going. Well, look, you know, seeing the big picture is part of business, right? Uh, right. And, and that's how you achieve success, mm -hmm. you know, cause there are big pi picture people that bring those dreams into reality, you know? Oh, okay. Um, and if you're a freelancer or run your own business, um, <laughs> okay, you kind of okay. have to. You kind of have to see both, right? You kind of have to be the business and see the big picture. Nice work. Um, so if you need help with the day to day, HoneyBook has tools. <laughs> that Excellent you need job to get everything done. Outstanding, <laughs> outstanding. <laughs> HoneyBook is an online business management tool. <laughs> now tell us what is it. <laughs> <laughs> that was impressive, dude. Bridging Troy Becker to our <laughs> ad read. Fantastic. <laughs> strong. <laughs> Had me gone. <laughs> Had me gone. Honeybook. <laughs> Honeybook is an online business management tool that organizes your client communications, booking, contracts, and invoices all in one place. Well, I'm, just, I'm just doing it while no one catches his breath. <laughs> Go ahead. It's perfect for freelancers, entrepreneurs, or small business owners that want to consolidate services they already use like QuickBooks, Google Suite, Excel, and MailChimp. With HoneyBook, you can automate your busy work. They have easy-to-use templates for email, proposals, brochures, and invoices. And they also have e-signatures and built-in automation to save you time and get you paid oh, faster. God, and right now... HoneyBook is offering our listeners 50% off when you visit HoneyBook.com slash tiny. Payment is flexible, and this promotion applies whether you pay monthly or annually. Go to HoneyBook.com slash tiny for 50% off your first year. That's HoneyBook.com slash tiny. Um, oh, my God, bro. You okay? I'm tempted to just leave that in the Patreon episode because Jesus <laughs> fuck, yeah. dude. Holy shit. I'm fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I can't. See what's what the thing about this whole <laughs> <laughs> Troy Becker thing here is that you know he's seeing the big picture and that's important when you're running <laughs> a you're small all... business. <laughs> oh. oh my god, dude, I'm dying. I'm clipping the mic so hard. <laughs> Fuck. Holy shit, man. That's a, that's my that's my three point jumper for this episode. <laughs> that was my from the perimeter right there. From that downtown. That was good. Fuck yeah. Did hell. we wait, when did we do the bonus episode? Was that after Christmas? Uh I think no, it was it wasn't. Right, it was right before. It was right before. Yeah, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve bonus app. How was your Christmas? Yeah. It was good. How how was yours, man? Did you get any cool presents? Uh yeah. I fucking came up, dude. Yeah? Yeah. You know, our listeners also get a gift right now. 
And, then, <laughs> just, just and that is the gift of a comfortable <laughs> asshole. And that's why this episode is sponsored by my undies. Not me undies, my own my undies, undies that I'm wearing right now. And this can, dirty pair of musty undies. You can get this pair on Depop for free <laughs> <laughs> with the promo code my musty asshole. Uh, first one, to, first one to enter it gets my free musty underwear. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast brought to you by my musty asshole. <laughs> oh man! Oh, you know, yeah, you came up, man. What'd you get? I got a. <clears throat> oh, I secured the dog camera. That one's pretty good. Uh, I, I wanted to get that the one. Will one will be good until until what? I'm like blasting like share. Or something in the apartment by myself, you yeah. know, just, just fucking banging out to that. <laughs> Always tripping right now as you say that shit, <laughs> bro. I wanted, I wanted to get the one that's like the little robot that could like shoot the treats out and shit. But I know Ollie would just like bark and punch it and you know, like <laughs> try to fight would, it. Yeah, he would try to beat it up. He would not. I think you can it. use. Tr- I think you can give treats from the one I got. I think I don't know. I feel like it's. It might be like more of an anxiety inducer more than anything because like when you see your dog doing some weird shit you can't really like you can like talk to it through the machine yeah. but you're not home so yeah. i feel like then i just be like oh fuck i gotta get home but I, <laughs> yeah. i'm out i'm an hour away <clears throat> my my nightmare is like I, I always thought like if you buy one of those like imagine you just like it's like bang and you're like just sitting somewhere you're like an hour away you're like oh what, what's the dog doing and you just see like a a bag of Hershey's chocolate just like rolled over open. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh no, fuck. fuck! Just screaming through the fucking microphone, trying to get its attention. Just yeah, trying yeah. to keep it away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't you fucking dare! Don't you fucking think about it? Hey, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Come over here. Come over Come here. Come over here. Come over here. <laughs> Come over here. Good boy. Just spamming the treat launcher, trying to get. <laughs> shooting come on, come on, come at come, him. Come, 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 come on. <laughs> Come on. I wonder how hard the, sh- the treats fire out. <laughs> it just gets jammed. It just doesn't do shit. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. Dog cam. What else? What else? Um, I got some t-shirts. Which you got, I'm a, you got a Troy about. Becker master class? I got a... Yep. Yep. I bought some Troy Becker merch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, Troy Becker's merch is just like a, uh, it's like, um, like a scene holder, you know, it's like a nice, it's like a nice leather book for holding your, all your scenes for all your auditions and, uh, for when you're trying to memorize lines for your TV shows and your movies. Oh, weird. I just got like a piece of plastic and it said wrap around your face. (laughs) Who was that from? Uh, uh, that was from Troy. You just hold it around your face and let it let it suffocate you nice cool yeah yeah you get to choose when you don't use it though yeah um what'd you get what the fuck did i get i don't i don't even i didn't even like ask for much i'm i'm big on i'm good like i don't you're big on i'm good yeah like like uh so i'm gonna get you a gift it's all right i don't i'm fine i don't i don't want the gift (laughs) yeah but it's also cool like my parents got me um Tim Horton's coffee, which is like, I don't know, it's just cool shit that you wouldn't think about. That like in two weeks, yeah, I'm like, yeah. damn, I'm happy I have this. Yeah, that's the, it no, reminds that's me stuff, of home and that that stuff I appreciate. If I feel like it, you know, <clears> doesn't, <throat> doesn't break your bank in any way, and it's just like a cool, unique, like oh, like uh, Alina's mom got us um, this this like thing that you, it's like some rubber plastic tool that is used to just scrape dry food off a dish. So if you leave yeah. a dish. I've, I didn't even know that was real, and I was like super geeked about that. Yeah, that shit's fucking cool, man. <clears throat> yeah, you know that's or that's even cool. shit like, um, like I had mentioned, I was like out of hair shit, and I just like wasn't going to the barber to get more, and Kelsey like got me that for Christmas, and I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> it saves me so much time, and so at least for me, because she knows I hate just doing sh- errands like that. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. That's why Amazon. That's why Prime now is dangerous, man. Yeah, it's true. But I, I will say this: um, I always just put in the one massive order on on Prime now. I I haven't been to a grocery store. I went to the grocery store for the first time in like six months the other day. I've I 
that was an accomplishment for me. That was my gift to me this year, not having to go to the fucking grocery store. Yeah. That's a good uh, resolution. So <laughs> but that's, I, sometimes I like, I, I'll just go chill at Trader Joe's. I won't even buy anything. I'll just relax there. <laughs> just hang out. Just yeah, chill. it's like the vibe. It's There's no vibe, chairs, man. actually, so I'd usually just walk around. Just kind of <laughs> check out the product and what's new, you know, what they brought in over the last couple weeks. Uh, and then I'll just Joe's. dip. Trader Joe's is fine because it's a it's a walkable distance. It's a it's a healthy size. <clears throat> Ralph's and those bigger ones. That shit pisses me off because you, they just put everything in a big ass zigzag to just get you going around in there like a goddamn maze. I hate that shit. Yeah. So much, dude. Yeah. Remember when we went to when we went to Walmart and fucking Secaucus. Secaucus. Uh-huh. I just wanted. To yeah, say that, that fucking Walmart is huge. Huge. <laughs> It's huge. <laughs> Shit. I, mean, I hadn't been to a Walmart in forever, and we got in there, and you're like, I fucking hate this. It's just a warehouse. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it really, it really is. Like Walmart, you just go in there to work there. That's why they yeah. don't hire employees, because they're just <laughs> as fucking lost as you. <laughs> There's no point. <laughs> Literally no point. Fuck Walmart, man. Um, I was going <clears> to... <throat> I just gotta, I just gotta, I just gotta suck my own ass real quick. Just gotta okay. suck my own ass. Yeah, what? I can't believe it's done, man. I what? can't believe it's done. Suki? Yeah, I can't believe it's done. Yeah, that's congrats. Thanks, that's huge. Yeah, that's huge, actually. <laughs> no, that's great. I just, I was Are you pumped? Yeah, I, you know, it's. I think the weirdest shit. I'm gonna do a little video about it, like announcing it. But <clears> I think the weirdest thing is like <clears throat> when you know. First of all, if you're, I know some people listen to this and they go, I want to make a short film too. Uh, don't do it alone. Hire everyone and anyone. <laughs> do not do it alone. That is my biggest fucking piece of advice. That whole doing it by yourself shit, it's a myth. Uh, whenever you see an actor and it says directed by them as well, very rarely is it actually them, you know, unless it's like Ben Affleck or the Softy Brothers. But other than that, uh, it's a myth. that You don't want to do it all. That's that's all I got to say. <laughs> Unless it's, like, the only thing you're doing for months at a time. Yes, yeah. If it's the only thing you're focused on, sure, go for it. Um, I, I was very fortunate to not have that. You know what I mean? Like, things for us it had gone really well, so I couldn't focus on it 100%. Yeah. I dra- dragged it out. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, the the definitely... Now, so sitting on it and, like, doing all the music videos we've done and, like, even the most recent one, it's like I can spot all these things like, damn, if we just hired like this person or whatever. I was chuckling. I, I mean, I messaged you this, but I was chuckling. It it's not, it wasn't comically bad, but like it was pretty bad how small the crew was. I can't even believe that thing, th- it came together with that small of a crew. Pretty yeah. fucking nuts. <laughs> we And I, this is the last thing I'll say that's like film shit. But So we had Tom as the gaffer. Mm-hmm. He had one guy below him. Who was a swing? Uh, he's a swinger. It's crazy. Fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't, how is that relevant at all? <laughs> yeah, he's a swinger, man. It's crazy. Yeah, interesting fact. Yeah, him and his wife. They decided. Anyways, um, <laughs> he was sucking him and fucking his wife the whole <laughs> time. <It> was, <clears throat> no, we had we had a G and E swing, so he would help with the electric team, or he'd help with electric and then grip. And we had one key grip and then one guy below him. So. It was just the four of them. Dude, th- for that final scene, we set up like a 20 by uh, diff, like 20 feet by 20 feet, and it was just okay. two of them doing that. And like, yeah. It, it just like. Which took then, how long? Somehow they fucking did it in like an hour, which I couldn't. Jesus Christ. You know, that plus lights and, and whatever. I mean, it was just it was, it was just not enough people, but not by any stretch. <clears throat> Think about just one guy running back and forth from a truck grabbing C stands. Like just one, not three, not four. It's just one fucking dude. That's and, tough. Yeah. And some of those days were fucking chaos. Like we were understaffed by at least 10 people. I, I can't fucking believe we, we did that shit. It is so. I'm, I'm more hyped now, like looking at just how small and, and how. Uh, insane it was that we were able to pull that shit off. It's yeah, it's, yeah. So I'm happy. Anyway, no, that's sorry. great. I mean, it's a good story too. 
<clears throat> you think? And it's good I... that you can. It's good that you can. Um, I mean, like, it's a good, like, it's it's a good, like, learning experience. It's good that you can be on set now with, like, what we're shooting recently, and then you can look back and be like, man, I can't believe that we made that mistake or that oh, yeah. we did it with yeah. this little people or whatever. I'll never do that again, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's mm-hmm. what it takes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man, and, and just, like, it was, like, the whole thing was just raw, like, trying to make a movie type of hustle. And, I mean, everything. <laughs> so many shots were just, like like, stolen or, like, you know, Nego- like the, um, there were a bunch of inserts that I negotiated all the location reps. I convinced them all to just let me come out for free. And I was like, well, we'll only be there for an hour. And we stood there for like two, <laughs> like two and a half. And they're like, uh, you said you're only going to be like an hour. I'm like, yeah, yeah, just we just need uh, I like <laughs> I fucking I finessed the, the homeowner for this one specific insert of a sprinkler. I was just mm-hmm. getting him to like turn it on and off, on and off, on and off. <laughs> and then I shook his hand. I'm like, "Yeah, dude, I'm I'm totally gonna send you the movie." And like, I just was like, <laughs> "I'm never gonna talk to that guy again." I'll Venmo you a couple bucks. <laughs> I'll hit your Venmo, buy a coffee. <laughs> I think I told this story, but like with the permit, you have to put up no parking signs within a certain time window, and if you don't, it fucking invalidates your permit. Okay. And I didn't know that until like a couple hours before like the period. Like I don't know how that fell off in communication, so I had to like dude, I had to drive to Glendale at like two o'clock. I had to get it up by like three fifteen or something. Okay. From the fucking west side. I'm like, oh god, I'm not gonna make it. And I get there and I uh my uh Taylor meets me with the signs and we didn't have fucking string to like hang it up. Okay. And, like he just found like this random like plastic wire that we just like we, I don't know what the fuck and we tie it up and then and the location owner was like, oh yeah, sometimes the cops when they see that they won't mark it as valid because it has to be like a specific type of rope. And we're what? Like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, uh, you might want to stay here. And so Taylor had to stay there until the cops showed up, just prepared to be like, hey, can you please like not fuck us. And he said the cop came up, looked at it, and then, like, he just kind of, like, shot him a look, kind of, like, I think as if to be, like, I know that string sucks, but I'm going to let it go. And then he just drove okay. away. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it was something like that. I can't remember at this point, but, yeah. This I is mean, what it. kind of, like, what kind of act, what kind of person actually would be, like, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <sighs> yeah. You never know, dude. This isn't high, high fucking fiber, whatever. <laughs> high fiber, <laughs> high fiber high string. F- this isn't low fructose string. What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> are are, uh, are have you talked to Taylor and Kale? Are they pumped that it's coming out? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Every, everybody's great. hype. Tom's hype. Everybody's hype. Whole crew is hype. Hell yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, <laughs> I, I, it, it's crazy because for one scene, like some extras just brought. An extra brought her mom and her sister, and they were Naturally. like, "Naturally, can we just be a part of it?" <sighs> we weren't against it. We we're like, "Yeah, sure." Yeah, I guess more people the better. <laughs> yeah, but I I was scrambling because uh, they they were like, "Yeah, we don't mind doing it if like we can just get thrown into the credits." I'm like, "Sure," and I like me and Taylor were like, uh, "Did you write their names down?" And he's like, "Oh <laughs> fuck," <laughs> just like crawling. Just, gu- just guess. Just guess. Uh, Susan? And yeah. Anna Perlopanen's. <laughs> just, just making shit up. <laughs> just making shit up, dude. Stason? Stason. Uh, like just weird ass names? You know what? We'll just hit a gender neutral name, Stason. How about that? Yeah. And that way. I th- I'm guessing it's Janeth. <laughs> it's Janeth, right? With a TH? And her mom, Janeth. Janeth and Janeth. <laughs> Janeth and Janeth. Janeth and Janeth. It- it matches. It's a parent. <laughs> you know what I mean? The the turtle doves of names. <sighs> Janeth and Janeth. Janeth and Janeth, baby. So I don't know. I'm I'm a little bit scared to put it out, but you know, fuck it, man. It's you know. No, nah, man. You should be proud of it. It's a, I I have to like get my mind out of that. Like you got to You got to do one to do a better one and and to yeah, keep do it. Put it up. On to the next one. Yeah. On to the next. Yeah. Well, it will be on to the next because within a few weeks we'll have uh Ah! <laughs> Don't talk about that. <laughs> Wah-bah! 
Yeah, you need to go to the bonus episode to find out about that one. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you don't bitch. get that info for free, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Bitch. Emphasis All right. Um, what? Sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. You're fine. All right. Uh, what? All right. Uh, what? Well, I was just going to say it's it's the end of the year. Should we talk about our uh, New Year's resolutions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Sure. I don't know. Right? Yeah. No, you know, we should do like a... Hold on. What day is it? Damn, I mean, we did... Let's talk about this, actually. We... we um. So last year we did a, we did a best bits of the year compilation. We did. We did. We haven't... We haven't really done that. We've shown any... We haven't talked about doing one again for this year, but we could just Ooh. talk about one comes to mind immediately, and that's the uh, the uh, the dude at the party with the feet pointing oh, his feet oh, at people. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's good? <laughs> you got a fucking problem? I think that's the hardest I've laughed on the podcast this year. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember anything. If I'm being honest, I can't remember any fucking bits at all. I, I started going through my notes. I know I could find one. The one that is not from this year, but that I remember is talking about babies on American Idol, like and like people going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they have like fucking abs and like they can dance and shit. What? I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I remember like saying like a baby winning America's Got Talent, and it's just like. <laughs> It's like a ripped ass baby, and it's like <laughs> two years old, and the crowd is just going fucking nuts, just crazy. <laughs> it's just like, it's, oh my god, a be- beautiful, beautiful talent, really. Gorgeous. Now what you what do you say your name is again? Mm-hmm. Troy Becker. <laughs> he just not he's not a baby. He just says he's a baby, and everyone's like, "Really, you're two? <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, I'm two years old." Hi, wow. I'm Troy. I'm two. I'm two. <laughs> and I'm here to be a baby. Oh, hey, what's Lord. up? I'm Troy. I'm two. I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm two years old. And this is uh, me singing something by Madonna. Bro, I'm going through my notes. Hold on. This looks like I'm <gasps> sucking my own dick on my camera. Hold on. I'm going through my notes to see if I can find like an old bit. I mean, man, my notes app goes way the fuck back. <coughs> um, <laughs> okay, can't read that. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, um, no, I mean, it just it's been a it's been a great year. But we, you know, a lot of it I realized I was writing I'm writing a video right now, just going over like all the shit that happened in the last year. It's and we yeah. just were away a lot. Oh, yeah, we weren't home, like, at all. Everything was just, like, and I think, you know, I think, like, focusing on the podcast or at least are, like, um, you know, like, building off of older bits and stuff um, is, like, a little bit tough in that yeah. sen- in that scenario, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I think next year we'll definitely hit it smarter. Um, yeah. And I think, like, I, I can't, I don't want to, I don't want to... Uh, yeah, I th- we we have ideas on how when we go on the road, how to make sure uh, we hit the bonus episodes, um, and we got we got some ideas on how on how like our our next tour is is gonna be different and how we're gonna do things differently, um, which I'm excited for. I think that I think yeah, that'll be a New Year's resolution is to make sure the podcast does not uh, suffer as a result of us going on the road. You know, we yeah. did, we did we did okay this year, but I think next year it definitely has to be better, and it will be. I, th- I think all the things we have planned is, is going to make it really really strong. Yep, I agree. I agree. However, that being said, if you listen to TMG this year, we appreciate you very much. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Seriously, big thank you. I mean, this year has been fucking uh, crazy. Uh, fucking record deal. Um, Walkman. Uh, song with black bear uh just everything this has been i don't even know how the fuck we we beat this next year that's the thing that scares the shit out of me (laughs) yeah it was a pretty crazy year honestly i think no but i think we just put our heads down and keep making shit yeah that's the key i mean that's what that's what i want to do yeah 
No, I I, I agree. I'm pumped, I th- man. No, I think I think all our plans for next year, I think, are are gonna be sick. And I think we're gonna naturally, just just like this year, we'll we'll naturally find ways into doing crazier shit and and stuff that is beyond w- what we thought. And yeah, I think we'll yeah. naturally get there. Um, and I think you know, 2020 is a good year. Is gonna be a good year for everyone. Yeah. Uh, te- tweet at us your New Year's resolutions. Uh, we want to know. Oh them. yeah. Yeah. Or write them in the comments. Or in the comments. Yeah, we actually want to read some at the show in DC. <laughs> yeah. So right, if you're listening, I guess Patreon it would be right now. So just list them in the comments on Patreon if you got any funny resolutions or anything at all. Actually, just honest resolutions. Um, like mine, for example, is I want to, uh, I want to make more sound effects with my <laughs> mouth in videos and stuff. Like when I, you know, make a joke, go <laughs> stuff like that. Little, little or, whistle. or, um, you know, nah, 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 that one, dude, sorry. I yeah. just remembered a bit that I like what, uh, bachelorette, but WWF style. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh shit! It's Stacen. Wait a minute! That's Janet's music. <laughs> Get the fuck away from him, Bethany! <laughs> Fireworks, <laughs> bro. You know what uh, I want? Janet and Janice. <laughs> it's Janet and Janice. <laughs> Hi, I'm Janet, and this is. Janith, <laughs> and this is Janith and Janith, and we're here to Janith and Janith. <laughs> bro, uh, bro, I watched Hobbs and Shaw. Oh yeah, how was that? You know what, man? I okay. This is like, I actually had a newfound appreciation for met like super budget action films like that, which is they have so much money. The amount of coverage those guys can get is dope. Yeah, they get everything: guns reloading, somebody blinking, somebody sneezing, this guy fighting over here. Like, name a movie where you get, you know, what literally <laughs> fucking every character is doing. It's, it's is that because they nuts. have like sixty cameras? Oh yeah, when you look at the credits, it's like first unit, second unit, third unit, fourth unit. Fifth, like they're all just really shit. Yeah, dude, they're, they're so, getting shit all the time. Wow, that's wild. That's really cool. That's why it's dope. Like, imagine you shoot a scene and then you're like, all right, there's a fight scene, but, uh, or like, you're going to jump off this building, but uh, we're going to move you on to the love scene. And there's just a guy who looks like you, you know, and a whole crew and a fucking director and everything just going, and action. And they're grabbing that shit. Like, filming at that level has to be so cush. Yeah. I mean, that's what The Rock requires, baby. Oh, (laughs) it's the fucking Rock. Bruh, that guy, that guy's got it made. Well, yeah, there, I know. So there's a, there's a scene, there's, so there's a whole aspect to Hobbs and Shaw where they go to Samoa. Okay. And it has all this, like, Samoan, like, just uh, sort of value, like, Samoan values and family and, and all this shit, like, injected into the film. And it's 2,000% The Rock being like, uh, I want to go to my where my parents are from, so I think you should film half the movie there. And they were like, yeah, sure, totally. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> And then and the and writer write it into the movie, please. Yeah, they did. They did a bunch of filming in London, and I just feel like that was Statham being like, "I'd like to spend home. I'd like to be home for the first half of the shoot." And they're like, "Okay, <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll write the story around London and Samoa. Sure, <laughs> perfect. Those are easy to tie together. Yeah, just you know, perfect. Fl- fly the whole fucking crew to Samoa. No problem. No problem, boys. Yeah, that's great. They do insane shit in that movie. It's like so much blowing shit up. <laughs> and it's not it's like a good movie? It's not bad? Uh, <laughs> what's your definition of good? How'd you define good? <laughs> I mean, my favorite movie is Crank, featuring Jason Statham. So No, but see, Crank is cool because it has like it has like a stylistic choice. Like there's like a strong theme to it. Like it's pretty cohesive. Like Hobbs and Shaw is like a vague you remember that it's part of the Fast and Furious franchise at the very end. Oh but, right. I forgot uh, about that even. Other than that, you're just kind of like, what the fuck is this? Idris Elba's in it, and he he crushes his character. That dude is... He's fucking great. Yeah, he's just a great actor. I mean, the three of them are solid. 
You know, I I I I felt like I don't give The Rock enough credit in terms of his acting. He's like he's, uh, he can. He's, <laughs> I see why the people dude can like fucking him. act. Yeah, act? I mean, like, I it, it's funny because those movies are not really movies. They're just like they're they're movies in that you're just there because you're a fan of one of the people and you just like to see them do their thing. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. Like people go to that see that movie and they just like The Rock and he gets to say all that corny cheesy shit because that's yeah. what they want to see yeah they they're just not they're not super into the whole Hobbs and Shaw yeah, storyline <laughs> yeah they don't give a fuck about whatever they're just like I want to yeah. see The Rock be huge and like yeah. say like <laughs> semi witty shit I'm just pumped <laughs> to watch The Rock be real muscly <laughs> yeah, like, for two moms. hours it's just horny yeah. moms yeah <laughs> I'm just pumped for The Rock's delts yeah. to be honest <laughs> that fucker he is massive dog it's yeah. stupid yeah, <laughs> there's a scene with Kevin Hart that is actually pretty funny because when knowing that they have like that relationship, just seeing how that scene pans out is pretty amusing. But, Dude, yeah. I did uh, I did fucking CrossFit today. <laughs> how did, how'd you feel, man? Are you vegan too? It's yeah, and I'm vegan now, and I'm part of the CrossFit cult <laughs> now. I'm really believing it, hundred percent. <laughs> it's so it was it was pretty wild man it was definitely hard like you always you always hear shit about crossfit like online everyone rips on crossfit people yeah it's just like a workout class that's just like less produced oh so it's just like it's intense. they just write some shit on a whiteboard and they're like all right do that and you're like all right oh. let's do it folks got it got it and then i dude i that another another uh this is kind of funny yesterday i'm I'm at the gym and um, I climb onto the stairmaster and I'm putting in one like my AirPods and I put one in and I and I like kind of uh, a slip on the other one and it falls on the step and just oh. falls inside the stairmaster. <laughs> oh! And I was like, oh god damn it! This is <laughs> the most low key mistake. I just oh 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 fuck! <laughs> there goes that. So I had to go down to maintenance and get a guy to come up and open the fucking stairmaster to grit to get my fucking AirPod. I felt like such an asshole. Hey. <laughs> just imagining that image, like you standing there and everyone's like, "What the fuck is going on?" The stairmaster just like opening a fucking basement trap door, and then he just pulls out this tiny little white ear white thing, and he goes, "These are expensive. Don't want to lose these." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, dude!" And everyone on that floor is looking at me like, "What a fucking dick, dude!" <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. And then you like you look at it, and you like examine it, and you like motion back to him like, "Could you?" And he's like, "Sure." Wipes it down. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Great. A little Thank dust you. on there. You mind getting that? Thanks so much, Thanks, maintenance buddy. boy. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Thanks bud. Oh. Appreciate the hard work there, buddy. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. That's regular in Canada. In America, that's offensive. I'm Thanks, in America, bud. bitch. No, no, no. But I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, Canadians would do that. Hey, thanks, bud. Yeah, buddy. Hey, thanks, bud. Yeah. Yeah, it's different yeah, if you bud. say bud. Bud. <laughs> bud. <laughs> thanks, buddy. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Well, um, happy new year, everyone. If you want to spend the new year with us, um, come to, uh, come to our show in DC, you know, and, uh, you know, we really, we really want to invite people who can see the big picture. You know? Yeah. That's what's important here. You know, something else that helps you with the big picture. <laughs> oh, let it Is go. No, m- seriously. Is, my is musty what? balls is his musty balls cody's musty balls can help you see the big picture mm-hmm. his big taint that you <laughs> lift up the balls and you see his gigantic long taint <laughs> wide taint uh no seriously thank you for listening this whole year yeah the we entire appreciate year. you let's keep um let's keep crushing it <laughs> oh, yeah. nate let's go ahead and cut that part out <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut that one out.
Um, let's keep killing it, baby. Let's keep crushing it, dude. No, nah, man, we we can't say thank you enough for fucking everything. Coming to a live show, listening to the podcast, watching our fucking videos, uh, you know, donating on Twitch. Uh, well, whatever. Buying merch, it, it, you guys show support in a lot of different fucking forms, and um, it, it we don't we don't take it for granted, man. We we really want to say thank you. Truly, thank you. Thanks for a great 2019, and here's to a fantastic 2020. Yeah, we'll see you all in the new year. Um, but we were supposed to. Yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll figure out the schedule. Um, we gotta. I just want to say. New Year podcast episodes are going to be off to a bang. Provide it. Knock on wood. Knock on wood right now. Everybody knock on wood. If, provided if this, what? Provided you know what happens. We have a date set. And uh, if if we can all get in the room, it's going to be huge. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's going to be huge. Yeah. Looking forward to it. we got some big plans. Big vision. So... <laughs> big picture <laughs> i'm just i'm just looking forward to just killing it you know yeah I'm, I'm really stoked to just fucking you know just boss it up you know yeah just like, get bossed up this year just boss it up yeah you know, paying the cost to be the boss that's what i'm excited to do mm-hmm. amen all right Fair enough. bitches see you in the new year happy all right guys new year. happy new year. year peace peace